initially uh, the mankind uses water uh, to uh, meet time because it, it is very simple. It was very simple. Now putting the same system, a clepsid like a clepsid, in the wristwatch is very difficult. Inside of the wristwatch you need, you need strength and that was frankly the first biggest challenge and the potential killer of the technology. We have to build a system that has as low consumption as possible. The 3 part of the HYT watch, which is composed of two chambers, flexible chambers and uh, a display uh, area, which is a glass capillary. Inside the reservoir we have two fluids. So the first challenge we have to solve is that uh, the fluid must not mix together. We have three components of the, the system and we have to realize a perfect equilibrium to move the fluids with the required precision. Now we have a fourth component of this system because you see that one fluid is colored and the other one is transparent. For that we need a dye and the dye also has some interaction with one fluid, with the other fluid and with the wall. So each component can influence the other one and since we are near to a very thin equilibrium each component can uh, perturbate the wool equilibrium if it doesn't fit exactly to the system. Of course, we have to deal with fluids that are uh, still fluidic between minus 20 and plus 70 degrees. This is also a very big challenge to be able to form such a glass part with the precision required for our system. Every microns inside the capillary can influence the reading of the time. The two reservoirs that are made uh, by two billows, metallic billows. The thickness of the metallic envelope is less than a fifth of a hair. This part, it's not visible from the outside of the system, but uh, it regulates all the behavior of the fluidic inside the, the system. That small ceramic part uh, that allows for control of the flow inside uh, the system. So we had to uh, make all possible tests to validate uh, this system and of course uh, we extensively test the module itself. We did some aging tests, uh, some performance tests at many different temperatures over time and uh, with uh, extreme force, so we could uh, define what are the, the limits of the system and uh, guarantee that these uh, limits are out of, of the range of uh, what is expected for this product. We are working in the very similar way like a fine watchmaker in the fluidic world right now. But we are earning a lot of know-how which enable us to uh, go in more industrialized ways to, of productions. Right now we are delivering about 40 watches each month and I would say uh, the next steps for industrialization, okay, it's possible, we are working on that, but this is not the plan right now.